Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CPG. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I'll let you this time frame and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price made a really nice movement. When you consider the price was at its low points on Wednesday, and then all of a sudden you look at where the price is at right now, any sort of rational person is gonna say, yeah, the price has definitely made a very, very nice move on the day. But that does lead to the valid question here of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area, and that area is down here at $4.80. Why is 480 important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with genuine power, with true strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That would be a total contradiction. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about 480. Any sort of closes blow there or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of that area of the chart that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Or as let's say the price pulls back here, behaves in this manner, and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have that low down there. If you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, the quote unquote progress point, once more, $4.80. What about levels of resistance? In terms of where the sellers are currently hanging out at, seems to be a level right here around $5.25. If you go back through the history of things, you can see back here acted as resistance. And then fast forward into today, acted as resistance again. I'm not saying 525 can't be broken or anything like that. I'm just saying it makes sense why that price area did indeed act as resistance as a whole. All in all though, anyway, look at the chart. Very nice movement today. Not just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.